everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic. Uh, this tutorial is a bit more complex, so uh, you might want to check out also the according article that is linked below this video. So what we're going to do in this video is we will build a Ionic Spotify app. And this is the first part of a two-part series. And within this first part, we will start uh, with a login flow. So we will have to build a custom login using OAuth um, with Spotify. And therefore we need our own little server and things are a bit more complex. So let's dive into to see how it works. Um, I got already a little app and we won't do all the coding for the server side because uh, we will just go through it. I've deployed it and it's um, quite a lot of work. So you can better check out the according uh, article then. But what you can do by now is first of all, go to your uh, Spotify developers account or create an account if you don't have one, create a new app and then this is my app. Go into the app and go to edit settings. So in here, you need to specify a redirect URI and mine is devdectic Spotify slash slash callback. So you don't want to have the same uh, URI in here, but um, you need one that you need in a few other places as well. So specify one by saying whatever, I am cool, whatever callback, because after the login, this URL will be triggered. And in our case, we will be using a custom URI scheme that will automatically then route back to our Ionic app. So make sure that you set it to something slash slash callback um, and keep track of what it is. Here is also the place where you find your client ID and your client secret that you will need later inside the server. So uh, this was step one. Then let's talk a few seconds about the login flow. Basically, this is the login flow and it's actually as complicated as it looks like. So um, the user will go through a login flow and see the accept whatever thing. Then stuff goes back to the app. We need to make a call, get an access and refresh token, and then we can later on use this token. So it's a bit complex and there's a great plugin called Cordova Spotify OAuth. And we can easily use this inside our app, but we need an external server for this. And the server will have two endpoints and those guys already have a server that you could display to AWS. But I wanted to see how everything works and also wanted to use uh, Heroku with Node.js. So I came up with my own little implementation, of course, uh, very much inspired by their uh, stuff. So inside the article, uh, we create a new JavaScript app and our Node.js app and install a few packages that are needed for our server. Then we need this proc file, which simply tells Heroku which file to start after uh, we deployed the app. And then we got the index about we watch, uh, which we will talk about in a second. Um, but first of all, make sure that you create a new Heroku app, uh, simply creating a new app. If you don't have one, it's free. And then uh, also install the Heroku CLI. And then you can easily connect your app to Heroku and only need to uh, set a remote for your Git repository and can push your build to Heroku. Okay, back to the app. Uh, we import a bunch of stuff and we also use the process environment variables quite a lot in here because we can easily set these values directly to Heroku. Uh, so if you run something like Heroku config uh, set client whatever, whatever equals, then this variable would be immediately written to the um, config var section in here and will be available at runtime. So we can keep our client and uh, client ID and especially the client secret as safe as possible. And also, of course, we need to set the callback URL 
any encryption secret is just a secret we specify to uh, protect the refresh token. So a refresh token can be used to um, get a new access token. An access token is what we need for all the requests with the Spotify API later. And this refresh token is pretty powerful as we can always get a new access token. Therefore, we want to make sure that this uh, refresh token later on is as safe as possible inside our app and is only uh, exchanged with an encryption on it. All right, then our app uses some body parsing, uh, course can't uh, be wrong, always good in our app. And then we basically get two requests, which start here, app post and app post. And before those requests, we got a dedicated Spotify request function. Um, that will make the actual request to Spotify in the appropriate format. So this will set the basic authorization, client ID, secret to string, whatever, and then return uh, a correct promise with a body or an error, whatever it is. So um, again, check out the according tutorial to see more of the code and the server explained and also easily uh, if you want to copy it. So after the login, uh, which is started by the Cordova Spotify OAuth, so this will be called Spotify Authorize with whatever settings, the user will go through some dialogues. So log into Spotify. Uh, in my case, I always pick Facebook. For some reason, it's connected to my Facebook account. Then I must log into Facebook. Then I see the app we created, the name, and also uh, some uh, scopes and um, whatever I want to allow this app. And if I then hit accept, um, I get an authorization code. And this authorization code will be posted to this route. And this route will look for the code. If it's not there, uh, that's pretty bad. But if it's there, we make a correct Spotify request for, with the grant type authorization code Again, here it is the client callback URL, um, the one we've or you've hopefully written to the process environment and also the code we had before. And what we get back after this request is an object that contains both the access code, the, the refresh token and also an expiring time. And we return this result, but as I said before, the access, uh, the refresh token only encrypted. And we have a little encrypt uh, function at the bottom using simply crypto.js and our encryption secret. So encrypt, decrypt uh, works quite the same, uh, just in two different directions. Therefore, we return this object finally to our Ionic app. And the Ionic app can then use this access token or the Cordova plugin or whatever um, we will know when it is expired and we got the refresh token, but it is encrypted. So if it gets lost, this is not dramatically as nobody could use it then. All right, this is the first one that's automatically uh, called from our Cordova plugin. The second one is the refresh route. And this one, you might uh, get it. It looks for the refresh token and then with the refresh token that we decrypt again on the server side, so everything is pretty safe, uh, we'll bring back a new access token and a new expires in. So we got the perfect OAuth flow in this and I already wrote this. If you want to build any kind of OAuth mechanism, this server would be a pretty good starter. So perhaps somebody wants to make a package from it, I don't know. Um, I currently don't have the time for this, but I think this would be a pretty good uh, project. All right, we got the two functions. We got the helper functions and in the end, we simply start the server. Uh, in my case, I can now uh, restart my server because it's free and it's going to sleep sometime. So I will restart the server and then we can continue with our Ionic app. All right, so we got the empty blank Ionic uh, app. And the first thing we're gonna do is at the Cordova Spotify OAuth plugin, the one we've seen in the browser uh, a few times before now. 
and this one will trigger the actual login flow and then also use our server under the hood so it is a pretty good plugin but not that easy to use but we're here to see how it works so once this is finished which hopefully doesn't take that long um, hopefully doesn't take that long come on um, we need a second plugin and this is a bit more interesting so let me give it a bit more space so this is the custom URL scheme plugin and we pass in a variable called URL scheme and this should be familiar to you so this is the one we use inside Spotify, inside the server, inside, I don't know, somewhere else, Heroku config variables, exactly. And now here. So our app now has this scheme and could be opened using DevTactic Spotify, uh, slash slash, whatever. All right. Um, we can also take a look at the final Xcode project later to see uh, this variable is actually somewhere. So now to the home TS and what we need in here is let's create a function auth with Spotify and then we need a configuration for our plugin. And here we need the client ID, which is the ID of your Spotify app. Again, the redirect URL, make sure it is the same. Then you can specify the scopes you want to have access to and the user needs to accept this access. Um, you can find a link to all the scopes also in my article. And then finally the token exchange and refresh URL. So in my case, this would look like this, my client ID, say still the same redirect URL, but now also the Spotify app.com. So this comes directly from somewhere here. All right, there is the domain of my server. All right, once you got this config in place, um, we need to declare bar Cordova any to prevent any TypeScript errors we might encounter because the plugin is not available through Ionic Native so we have to use Cordova.plugins.spotify auth and then call authorize with our configuration and then hopefully we get something back in the form of access token encrypted refresh token and expires at um, what's wrong mm, I'm not completely sure what's wrong perhaps that we just need the function as well so let's simply add a variable called result here and then set our result to uh, whatever it might be. So let me bring it in just useless, copy paste. Um, these are just the names I got from the Cordova plugin. So let's format it a bit better. We just want to see if we actually got those values from the login flow. And therefore we only need one button to call auth by Spotify and then we can print out our result to the screen. All right. Um, this is of course a lot of code and configuration. You can find it all inside the according article. But for now, let's see how all of this looks on a real device. All right, so here's the app on the device, but I also wanted to show you that you can navigate into Xcode into the info tab. And then right here, you see that our custom URL scheme was created using uh, the plugin we installed. And this entry is exactly what you need to have for iOS. So uh, let's get back to the app and let's see. So I go ahead with login with Spotify. The Safari view controller is triggered because this plugin already uses this um, new view controller. I can log in with Spotify. I will hit login with Facebook. And then I will do my Facebook login.
So let's do the Facebook login with my stuff. I hit login and then I come to a page where I've of course previously logged in with Spotify. So I will hit continue and now I will get this screen um, and somewhere uh, exactly here is the information about the scopes we specified for the plugin. So streaming, playlist read, user read, user private, all this will be uh, right in here. And if I now accept everything, I get back my final access token. So in the background, the code was sent to the Heroku app. The Heroku app exchanged the authorization code uh, for an access token and refresh token, and then uh, sent the stuff back into the app so at the end we got this object um, which is enough now to finally interact with the spotify api all right so this was the tutorial for the first part of the ionic spotify integration series we now got an oauth server we can log in with spotify we get an access token we got the whole flow in place and in the next video, I'll show you how we can build a nice Ionic Spotify player with the login information we have uh, gotten through this tutorial. It may be that the tutorial is not yet out, so then it will be in the next two weeks. Perhaps you watch this later, so then it will be out. Either way, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Ionic videos and also check out the ionicacademy.com, which is my private Ionic school for people to learn Ionic with courses, projects, and an awesome community. So enjoy Ionic everywhere and I'll see you next time.